Pride Parade of Morons. Pride Parade of Morons. Rose Montoya, a trans influencer, freed the nipple on the White House lawn. She has since been banned from the White House. <laughs> Hi, Mr. President. It is an honor of trans rights and human rights. Are we topless at the White House? This is the bullshit that I'm talking about. They will be called out on their insanity and then they'll act the White House. They will be will act like, oh, we didn't know about that. And then ban her. You invited this trans woman to your pride parade celebration. And then when they showed their man boob, lady boobs, they you ban them and say that it's not appropriate or what disrespectful. Okay, first of all, let's not start talking about respect on the White House. I'm sure that's like on the very bottom of the list of things that have disrespected the White House in that building. And secondly, what do you think a pride parade is? Have you been to a pride parade? Clearly you haven't. And finally, I guess in 2023, men have nicer titties than women. Women! Women! This is where we are in 2023. Men, they were nice boobs. And so, yeah, she's like all upset because she got banned and was like, I didn't mean any disrespect. And then tried to say that it was a free the nipple thing if I was a man and had done that. Like, yeah, no shit. Welcome to being a woman. You showed your boobs in public and people freaked out. Oh my God, you are a woman. You don't get to just keep your male privileges and transition to a woman and have nicer tits than me. That's not how this works. This is the way the world has been forever. Many of us have pushed back against it. There's no point. It's never going to change. You need to get down in the mud with us. <laughs> Lady, it's just like a white man to be upset with the fact that he can't retain the parts of privilege of being a man while becoming a woman. And then all the conservatives came out and they were like, that he had nice boobs. And they were there writing this, which when they say it, it does feel derogatory. You know, there's, yeah. some, there's I can see why the, that has become a slur. There is that derogatory vibe to it. Yeah. And also, it was so ironic. My whole entire feed was flooded with boobs and it was all conservative media. It's always like pastors who end up banging hookers. It's always the like conservative dudes who are weirdly obsessed with trans women that end up, fi you find them in a freaking Motel 6 getting pegged by some hooker in five years. Oh, it's always so much projection and you guys are, you're creeping me out you need to stop being such perverts i know there's sarcasm but it's still like you guys are weirdly obsessed with this and it's it's beyond the reason that you know feminists are obsessed with it like oh you're taking over women's spaces it's like you're all a little fascinated by the lady dick. and it's a little apparent <laughs>